The West Coast is home to many interesting and accomplished residents. The seaside town of Asafontaine is where serial entrepreneur and dynamic business pioneer Denise Coben Levy invites us on a tour of one of the homes that form part of her beach house collection. Hi guys, welcome to Time and Tide. I'd love you to come inside and I'll show you around. A former international model, Denise has had a varied career from running a modeling agency to starting her own production company to being a chef and opening an interactive cooking venue. Her journey into property was propelled by a demand for beach houses for filming purposes. We really needed a beach house as a location. And there were none, can you believe it? I mean, this beautiful country, we had no white clapboard beach houses. So the logical thing was we have the clients, we don't have the location build it. So we built Pearl Bay and it just did so amazingly well. We couldn't even get in for a weekend. So it was kind of a no-brainer to then build the second one a couple of years later. So we built White Sands and that same story just took off and then we would have shoot and stay crews being there and people coming for retreats and so on. And then it made sense to build this one. Denise is specific about what she wants with a keen eye for design and decor. The whole house is built around this kitchen and around this island and I love to be part of everything that's going on. So this allows me to be a part of the dining area, a part of the outside area where the guys are at the braai, a part of that dining area and a part of the lounge. So it really is central. It gets chilly here up on the west coast so we've got this fabulous fireplace that just uses a few logs, it's really incredible. This is the lounge area. My favorite couch in the whole world is this one. It's just one of those you just wanna flop down on, and I do. <laughs> so this is kind of my spot, and the guys know they can't touch it. I love the fact that the houses are directly on the beach. I mean, that is completely the bonus here. And the outdoor areas are just magnificent, and of course, Having been here for a long time, we built from 20 years ago, so each house you learnt a little bit more how to protect from the wind, how to face them in the right direction and so on. I did all the interiors and the design of the houses myself and the character of each one is very different. This staircase I particularly love. I love the zigzag design of this with that cupboard underneath it. It just makes a little picture. This is probably my favorite little corner that just happened like that. But let's go upstairs. The Cape Cod style homes overlook the pristine beach and provide an ideal retreat to relax and enjoy the spectacular views. So this is one of the main bedrooms, which is beautiful. I love the bath because you sit in there and you can actually have a gorgeous view of the sea. And then of course, the balcony. Just look at this guys, it's paradise. Considered a pearl of the West Coast, this hidden gem is quickly becoming a must-visit retreat. Azerfontaine is just the best place. You know, it's 85 kilometers from Cape Town, so it's an easy commute to go to a meeting. The wildness, the unspoilt beauty is still incredible, which I find you don't get so much on the East Coast. And yet the little town is starting to buzz. More and more people are coming and discovering it. And with that, we're getting the facilities. We've got a beautiful bakery, really artisanal breads, lovely little restaurants popping up. So we're getting that kind of infrastructure as well, which is great. After noticing his potential and genuine interest in cooking, Denise became a mentor to Tanache Morena. She's trained him as the house manager and chef overseeing the beach house collection. Equipped with the necessary license, Tanache headed out to pick some mussels, as well as collecting some sotsly growing wild in Denise's garden. I am picking up some sea lettuce that we're gonna use as a salad later. Denise believes that food is a universal language that connects us to each other. It's a passion she communicates in her cookbook, Around My Table. Obviously one of the most popular things here is seafood and fish. So we're going to cook the mussels for you today. We've chosen that. 
I was modeling for many, many years, way back in the 70s and 80s. And that was where my love for food and cooking started because I was traveling all over the world. And of course, with that, eating all over the world. And I'm passionate about Italian food. I love the simplicity of the dishes. The ingredient is the key hero and that's it. I love that. And I also enjoy Asian food very much. Now I'm cleaning the mussels that I just picked up from the beach. And guys, remember to get your license before you go and pick them up. And you're only allowed to get 25 per person. So make sure you save the nation, the world too. I'm just taking off the beard of the mussels and a little bit of the sand. So we've got our pot quite hot and I'm pouring some white wine into the pot. Don't put more salt in. Your mussels are very salty and they're gonna release beautiful, beautiful seawater. So we're putting that in and we're putting some fresh thyme. The sauce, you're doing a whack of butter and then some chopped onions, some celery, some garlic, and you let that really, really caramelize beautifully and then whack in a whole lot of cream. So these have opened beautifully, as you can see, and that's exactly what we are wanting. Now we've got beautiful liquid underneath where the mussels have been cooking. So they open up, they release the seawater. We've got the wine, we've got the thyme going. Beautiful, beautiful. So we're going to just strain that water off and we use that liquid as the stock for the dish. But when we serve the mussels, we don't want to do it all huge shells because Otherwise you have this huge bowl like this with lots of shells and hardly any mussels. So we like to take some halves, some whole, and then some of them we even take out of the shell and pop them here so that when you've got your dish, it's not only shell. There's lots of mussels in there as well. You can see these leaves. This is the soat slime. So we are just going to take off the end. And if there's any little bits that are not so great, you can cut those off. And then we're just simply cutting it, like sort of shredding it in a way. And then I'm going to squeeze on some lemon and some olive oil and salt and pepper. Very, very, very simple. And then just as a little twist, we're toasting a few pine nuts and we're gonna pop those on the top. I kind of thought that pine flavor would go very well with this savory taste that this lettuce has, the sea lettuce. Fascinating stuff. Denise is committed to sharing her passion and expertise with those like Tanache who are excited to learn. She believes the team you surround yourself with is key to the success of your business. Denise cooking is amazing and she likes to take challenges and to twist things up, which is a dish from somewhere. She comes home, she makes it her own. So I get to learn new stuff all the time and whatever she cooks is delicious all the time. Tanashi is a very special person in my life. He's been involved and part of my team in every way for 12 years already. So in a way, I feel like a bit of a mum <laughs> and in a bit of a mentor. And I've just absolutely loved seeing him grow and thrive in this environment. So it's been amazing to be part of his journey and I'm so, so proud of him. Live well with hashtag no regrets. Get more of the Insider Essay online. Follow, connect, engage, and be inspired to live better with the Insider Essay. Watch the show Monday evenings at 5.30. Repeat Saturday at 1 on S3.